Hello. What I want to talk to you about is pre-writing. That is what you do to get yourself ready to write and coming up with ideas for your writing. There I am again. I'll update my picture when I get my hair cut. Okay, getting ideas. First of all, there are two main ways to come up with ideas for your uh, paper. One's brainstorming, one's free writing. You may have been introduced to these concepts on a prior writing class. So for many of you, this will be a review. Brainstorming is writing all the ideas that come to mind, but in an organized manner. This may result in a list, chart, or map. You would probably use paper or pencil, possibly use colored pencils so that you can uh, circle ideas that are good, um, circle all the ideas in green that are related after you're done brainstorming. Or you can use a website to create your uh, free writing, your brainstorming that is. And I have the um, address right there. Now, this is what the mindmaster.com looks like, the actual once you sign in and get a free, free account. Um, and you would use these uh, little circles up here to put in text, this for color, um, those kinds of things to create your map. Brainstorming, the key is to, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later, is to stifle your inner critic. That is, no holds barred. Nobody's going to see this in, except for you. So write down everything that comes to mind. Remember your prompt. It's to convince your classmates of what your uh, best trait is. Now for free writing, and this is the one I like the best. Um, I tend to free write better than I do brainstorm. Um, for free writing, start with a new document or a blank paper. You can do this on the computer in uh, a word processor and just type. You might even uh, cover the screen somehow so you don't see it um, so that you're not judging yourself. Again, that's stifling your inner critic. Or start with a black paper and a pen or pencil, whichever you're comfortable with. Write your story's main concept at the top, and, and they're talking about a story here, but talking about your reaction to your prompt, which is um, convincing us that you, you what your main um, best trait is. Uh, three, again, applies to that inner critic, clearing your mind as best as you can. Don't even worry about spelling when you're free writing. Same for brainstorming. Remember, no one's going to see this but you. Write whatever comes to mind about that trait. You're going to be doing more of a focused free writing. And don't stop and don't erase anything. Only correct the spelling if it distracts you. And I'm telling you, you know, just don't even look at what you're writing. Just write. Nobody else is going to see this. Now tips for getting started. Start with the prompt. You might want to brainstorm first and write down the traits you could write about. And then maybe next to the traits a story or a couple stories that can prove that this is your best trait. And then begin your writing or your brainstorming. And then you should have, a, you know, something that's a draft. You're going to be stifling your inner critic as you do this. Now, you can't turn in this pre-writing. You cannot turn in this uh, brainstorming or free writing as your blog. Then you have to go through and you have to edit it and revise it to create a, an acceptable uh, post. I took these ideas from a textbook that I used to use called Writing Skills for College and Beyond. Um, it's an excellent um, source for getting started in college writing.